So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our video of Moon Saturn conjunction in the fifth house of your birth chart, as in what happens when Moon and Saturn are conjunct together. And as always, if you do not know if you have this particular conjunction, what sign it's in, what nakshatra it's in, along with all your astrological details, uh, for that, check out the links here, karisastrology.com, where you'll find my books, reports, consultations, and link to my academy as well, Magha Vedic Astrology Academy. So, <clears throat> when Saturn Moon, you know, are in the fifth house, see, what is fifth house? Fifth house is our intelligence. Fifth house is our education. Fifth house is known as the house of Purva Punnibhava, meaning past life deeds. It's also the house of speculation, uh, mantras, okay? It's many things, but this is like what, at the heart, you will deal with this. Now, <clears throat> this is a particular conjunction that will show that this person is born to take responsibility of children. Okay, their service into this world has to be dealt with either their own children or others' children. For example, this person can become a pediatric nurse. This person can become a pediatrician. This person may become a, you know, caretaker at an orphanage. This person may have their own daycare to take care of children. But there's going to be that emphasis because, you know, moon is service. Saturn is work. And anytime Saturn is with moon, you know, one of the things you will naturally notice is that this person has to do travel for work. If moon is behind Saturn, they will enjoy work. They'll feel like, you know, I wouldn't mind working. But when moon is ahead of Saturn, then they are going to be put into a situation where they will travel. But also the thing is, uh, if moon has a lower degree than Saturn, then there is this bit of this melancholy, frustration because of the fact this can delay children. And this is the person that, you know, like when you want something really bad, it's never there for you. You know, as a child, when you wanted that toy that either your parents couldn't afford or they wanted to discipline you and you had too many toys, you all you do is just you think about it. And if you keep thinking about it, it frustrates you. You're at school, you can think about except that toy that you saw. Now, if over time you don't get that toy, yeah, that feeling subsides. But see, then it's there in your subconscious. So then as an adult, one day you come across that toy on eBay as a retro toy. You're like, oh my God, this is the thing that I really wanted. And you'll just click to buy it, even though you don't really even care for it. But something inside you made you click. And so here what happens is um, this person, regardless of, you know, with other combinations, whether they have children or not, they're always in that hunch that, okay, I need to nurture. Like you will see that they will have this thing about even taking other people's baby and just like carrying them like their own mother or father. And of course, you will see more with these, these things with maternal instincts. Now, on the other hand, you know, if moon has a lower degree, then this feeling becomes very strong because this person may not have find that nourishment and that nurturing from their own mother. And they would hold this like as a uh, karma, like, you know, since I didn't receive it, let me give it, let me give it all. Now, yeah, this can happen with any placement of this conjunction, but it becomes emphasis. Like, for example, this is also the uh, placement of somebody who could be very good at human resources. Because fifth house represents children under you, right? Fifth house also represents subordinates under you. And remember, human resources always up here. Employees are here. They're seeking that nourishment and help of new human resources. So they're going to become very good at that. Now, 
at the same time um if this conjunction you know occurs in the fifth house while also occurring fifth house from jupiter usually you will take this see this person taking on like interested in humanitarian studies you know they will love to deal in humanitarian studies and sociology and even they actually can become lawyers with this conjunction because of the fact they want to nurture their client they want to fight for their clients they want to protect something so if there's a client in some kind of a calamity they want to protect that okay i'll take care of you i'm going to fight for you but of course you have to see where mars and mercury are because they're the key factors for becoming a lawyer as well you know now can, can this cause delay in education not necessarily unless this person is dealing with romance during their initial stages of uh, education then yes they will deal with that melancholy then they, it can disturb their education because whenever this person breaks up from someone from romance because fifth house is also romance um they they take it very deeply and then after that they can become very cold towards romance itself so the first romance they encounter because most of the time 90% of the time first romances don't last but what happens is that first experience becomes a long lasting impression on here because remember moon is the imprint of our karma it's imprinting constantly and of course due to past life deeds this person has to deal with coldness within the romance so with that one experience you know they can shut people out purposely and they may not have that interest in romance rather they just want to be in some arranged you know uh conservative uh situation but of course we're just looking at these two planets there could be influence of other planets too okay so anyway guys this was my analysis of uh saturn moon conjunction in the fifth house and if you want to know about these placements check out the links here otherwise uh we'll see you later bye bye